Total Dissolved Solids is a tool to measure how much coffee is actually in the finished cup. So unlike other tools we have that evaluate the quality of the coffee, Total Dissolved Solids is more concerned with how that coffee is actually being extracted. So in this case, we had a ristretto at 13.9%, you know, 14% 14 almost um, extraction, which means that 14% of the liquid in the cup is actually coffee. The other 86% is water. So what does that mean for you at home? Should you worry about TDS? Not really. Because total dissolved solids, if a coffee is in a proper range, doesn't necessarily mean that coffee is going to taste good. So you should always adjust your brew to taste. Now we use it here simply as a quality control metric so that we can go to different stores and see how coffee is being extracted, see how it's tasting, and make sure that there's some sort of standardization and it's just an added tool in our arsenal. Now the interesting thing is you'll see total dissolved solids actually increase in darker roasted coffees because there is more soluble material. Whereas light roasted coffees, all things being equal, will have lower TDS. Meaning, if we brew them with the exact same grams in, grams out, same technique, darker roasted coffees tend to have more total dissolved solids in the coffee. That's just a fun food for thought about how it applies. But anyways, I'll take you through the process here of how we actually measure total dissolved solids with a very expensive refractometer. Once again, don't need to do this at home, but if you're interested, stick around and see how to set up um, a quick total dissolved solids test with a refractometer and have some fun with it. All right, so today we're actually gonna be doing some refractometer total dissolved solids work. So this device actually is gonna tell us how much of our coffee is actually coffee. It uses light to measure total dissolved solids and liquids. And today we're gonna see how much is in this espresso. What is the total dissolved solids in this espresso? What percentage of this espresso is coffee and the rest is water? So here we go. So first things first, press go. I'm gonna tip the menu and we're gonna pop open the top and we're going to set this to zero. So we're just gonna get some distilled water in our pipette. Get that ready to go. We're just gonna give it a quick little wipe with our alcohol swab here. So we're just gonna give this eye a wipe. Just get it ready. Now we're just gonna dose some water into the eye. Just make sure it's covered. We're gonna close the top and we're gonna press go. Now at this point, it's gonna do a reading and it's gonna zero itself. This will be a zeroing out. Perfect. So now that we know it's zeroed, we're gonna open up the top. We're gonna to dry the eye with just a paper towel here. We're gonna hit it with another alcohol swab, and now we're ready to test our coffee. So, first things first, we wanna make sure this coffee is not stratified. So, we're gonna take a spoon and we're gonna give it a big stir. To make sure that this coffee isn't stratifying, we're just gonna give it a big stir with our spoon. We wanna make sure it's all mixed up so that we're getting an accurate reading of the TDS. So our spoon, mixed it up. Now we're going to take a sample. And this machine will work the best if the coffee is as close to room temperature as possible. So we're just gonna push it through the filter here. And now we have our sample ready. So we're gonna take our pipette, we're gonna draw in our coffee sample. We're going to put it over the eye. We're gonna close the lid and we're gonna let it rip. Thirteen point nine eight. So that means that thirteen, pretty much fourteen percent of this coffee is actually coffee. The other eighty-six percent is water. So this is why. They always say water is very important because it makes up most of your beverage. So 13.98% of this coffee is actually coffee. 